the thing was at seven, and when we were talking, you were saying seven, and I'm like, oh, well. Those are the stars, but you don't even know what happened to you. Yeah, but as I told Roddy today, he called me to see what time it was, and I said it's 7.45, but they can't do it earlier because it's public hearing. So you're here till 7.45. <laughs> it won't be the first time I spent a few hours here. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Just rem reminisce. Reminisce, yeah. Well, 7 o'clock having arrived, uh, we currently do not, oh, the chair is not going to be here tonight. We do not have a vice chair. So procedurally, it would be necessary to have a, a, a chair pro tem for this, this evening. And we need a vote to, to do that. I make a motion that Fred act as the chair pro tem. I second that motion. Moved and seconded to have uh, McGarry act as the uh, chair pro tem. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no? <coughs> vote unanimous. Okay. Um, a manifest for April 10th. And it's uh, just 20 hours for Jane. Yep, that's it. What's the board's pleasure? I make a motion to approve the minutes. Is there a, uh, the, the minutes? Uh, yeah, I guess we can do the minutes first. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. All right. <laughs> the minutes for March 27th. We have a motion to approve the minutes for March 27th by, by Bob. Okay, we're doing the minutes now. Yeah. March 27th, okay. I'll second, but I have a question okay. about the minutes. Yeah. <coughs> I, ahead, what I heard and what I saw, I'm not clear. I thought I heard that Steve was no longer going to have to do, there were five he was testing and that he was no longer going to have to do Brosnahan because that area had been cleared, but the minutes say Brosnahan will be um, tested in 2020? Yes. Yeah, he was, he was arguing to, uh, to drop them, uh, but uh, they, had, they had the highest uh, nitrate level and um, at six, I think it was six and a half parts per million. And uh, we, we decided that uh, no, he was not going to be able to drop them. I just thought I had heard that was when we were dropping, but I would think the horses that are above them would put the nitrates in. Good, yeah. So, all right, any other questions on the minutes? Uh, hearing none, all those in favor of the motion to approve the minutes uh, for March 27th signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no? Uh, vote unanimous. Okay, now we'll do the manifest. Yeah. <laughs> What's the board's pleasure on the manifest? Make I move the manifest. <laughs> it looks like tonight it's going to be you and I. My, my second. Move and seconded to approve the manifest okay. for April 10th for 20 hours with Jane. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no? Okay, can you, you just sign that oh, yeah. and I can give it to Pete? <laughs> well, well, I, two. I just yeah. wonder oh. if I've got some. Sign it. No, I've got that. I've got two min uh, agendas. I just wondered if somebody is well, missing one. No, I thought we gave you two by mistake. <coughs> or if you brought one. And then Jane oh, I brought the one in the mail. Uh, what? And Jane passed You mailed it to me. The agenda, yes, I did, yeah. And that, and you had one here? Yeah, I okay. always put That's one why here. I've got, I thought I took somebody's. No. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, that's all we get for. That's all we had. Yeah. We have uh, I was mentioned at the Jane, I had prepared the excavation permit for Rollins, and uh, the question I ended up having was with regard to when when the plan must be updated to, uh, to, to get a renewal of the alteration of terrain permit for the state. And I went on the state's website and they, they list the, uh, the Rollins permit and all, a lot of the other uh, permits that they've issued, they give a, give a date for renewal and it's just totally blank for Rollins's. Hmm. So, well, so I couldn't figure that one out. So, uh, Jane says she remembers seeing something. I have, a, a, from DES. From I have DES. 
Give so me the date. she's going to uh, okay. get that information to me so I can reprint these and uh, so then Pete can sign it. So yeah. So it would affect uh, the date when the, when they have to submit right. stuff to us. I'm, I'm ninety percent sure it said February twenty fourth, two thousand and. Okay, 18, yeah. 19, oh, 23, 24. 24. 24. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time flies. Too many, too many numbers. Yeah. 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 Keep going, we'll have the whole. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. That's all you have, I guess. Nothing new on TV. Uh, Lamprey Rivers Advisory Committee. They just sent that. I just got it in the mail today. I don't think it's, a, it's a, something you, I just gave for your review. I didn't. <clears throat> I don't think any action is required. But. Okay, this is apparently some work going to be taking place on Hammond Road. Apparently, which is uh, right next to uh, Freeze's Pond. Basically, they're saying we do not see any foresee that what's being proposed yeah. is somebody's adding an addition, addition to the house of uh, 140 square feet, and they say we do not uh, foresee any significant additional impacts to Freezes Pond. We do note that the septic system is designed for two bedrooms, and no additional bedrooms are allowed. We also note the addition will have uh, infiltration trenches to help minimize runoff. So, anybody wants to? Uh, yeah, I think I gave them. Oh, everybody has a copy. copy. Okay. Yeah. So I guess it doesn't doesn't require any action. No, I, I just gave, as I said, I just received it today. So, is this something that the um, conservation commission would also? Yeah, they they got a copy too. Uh, yeah, I got one for the planning board, but the conservation commission was com copied as well. I didn't give it to them; they, they send them a copy. Okay. When I served on this, they uh, they were really concerned about Freeze's Pond and the flow into the Lamprey River and the um, yeah sure. problems. The school parking lot drains right into it. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, that's what I'm doing. Okay. This is the uh, paper blitz. This skips. I'll just hand it over to you. Oh, okay. That skips the plans for him. The notice. And if anybody wants to see it, this is the plan that's being amended. This was approved back in 2002. Oh, for the site plan. Yeah. I'm going to have Skip sign something for me. Kim, do you have a copy? I do. Okay. I just got one. Couldn't make any <laughs> copies of this, but if you want to take a look, it's just kind of easier to read. Somebody gave. Oh yeah, I might have actually included it in my memo. Now that I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh great. You did. Sweet. I just, I yeah. just saw it. In a couple days. Is this Mailey's place? No, uh, no. This is the. Uh, Right next to the oh, church. Oh no! It's, it's where the kids, where the preschool is, and yeah, it's right next to the uh, what are they called? The Baptist Church. Oh, yeah. the the old community center. Right. Yeah, it's Deerfield Business Center now. Mm. And there was a site a site plan approved back in 2002 when Kristen Wendy Nelson bought it.
that it might be in the uh, or it's a trust. church <coughs> comes down like that what's that the baptist church i think i think it's i think this is well, the church this side. Mm -hmm. okay. what is this i think that's just that lot the shape of the lot 13 but the driveway is it's like this yeah, sure. their driveway. Mm -hmm. This is. I don't, I'm actually not sure. That's the house across from the fire station that used to be the telephone office in the 1920s. The telephone office, well. Yeah. So this must be the Mailey slot. Fred, is 13 the Mailey slot? Yeah, I believe so. Kind of a strange, strange lot the way that uh, does that. It's a funny shape. Yeah. All right. Close enough to 715. Close enough to start. This yeah. seems to be a crowd of people here. 715 having arrived, we uh, have a public hearing for uh, 7 Church Street, LLC. In accordance with the uh, state statutes, you're hereby notified that the Deerfield Planning Board will hold a public hearing on Wednesday, April 10th, 2019 at 715 p.m. at the George B. White Building to consider an application for a revised site plan Review originally approved in 2003 for Judge F. Kelly IV, 170 Bridge Street, Manchester, for property located on 7 Church Street, Deerfield, identified as tax map 210, lot 11, consisting of uh, 0 0.63 acres and owned by the applicant. The intent of the application is to create two one-bedroom apartments for the, on the second floor. You're invited to attend this uh, public hearing and offer your comments. If you're unable to be to attend, the board will accept your comments in writing and read them aloud at the hearing. So, uh, here's the old one. So the plan has been uh, submitted and it has certainly sufficient information for us to, uh, to, to review. Um, all fees have been paid. All fees have been paid, yeah. Uh, make a, have a motion to accept the application. 
I make a motion to accept the application. For a second. Second. Move and seconded to accept the application. Uh, acceptance of the application uh, does not presume act any action by the board. Just begins the 65-day clock that the board has to take action on any application before us. All those in favor of the motion signify uh, to accept the application signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Uh, it's vote unanimous. Okay. Uh, Skip. Yes. So, yes, I uh, own 7 Church Street LLC, and of course, we own the building on 7 Church Street, the former community center. And um, we thought the easiest way to go about this would be to, we, we did do a pencil sketch of what the units might look like, but this is and I can pass these out for you. This is not meant to be a final, actual working drawing. It's just a, this is what it could look like. Um, the preschool space is the space we're talking about using. Uh, the preschool has given us notice that they're actually uh, leaving. leaving. Yeah. So uh, these two units would be constructed in that area. Um, with preschool is now and again. It's not meant to be a final drawing. It's just a something like this is what we're after. The use that we're proposing is, of course, residential, yep. which is an allowed use in that zone. Mm -hmm. However, uh, there's a bunch of copies. I think you have them of the site plan. The original site plan that uh, the Nelsons submitted did not list residential as one of the potential uses for the property. So it's such a simplest way for us to get where we need to be. And we did meet with uh, both Rick Pelletier and um, Town Planner. Uh, Sylvia. 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 Yeah. Yep. And uh, they both agreed the use is allowed. Uh, Rick was saying, I don't even know if you really need to go to planning, but better you go to planning, put it out there in case there's any questions, and uh, get their blessing. And uh, once that, assuming that all happens, uh, I intend to go back to Rick with actual plans for a building permit to make the changes. Right. So what I've done is proposed uh, a, just a slight addition to the plan you have. I, I actually have a copy of the original proof plan. If you notice, it says, uh, I'm upside down here. I added the word residential under note three. And I think if you look at notes, yeah, it's a uh, note five here, right. but it says uh, office, preschool, retail. Uh, so we took that original site plan, which of course was approved, yep. and just modified the note to reflect the new ownership, the change in the street name, and added the word residential. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Cam, do you guys... Have any comments? Yeah, uh, yeah I, and I she think so. Uh, I work with Sylvia at Southern New Hampshire. Um, okay. She spoke to me uh, about your site walk. Um, she provided uh, some comments that she said she already went over with you. Yeah. Um, I'll go over them briefly. Um, number one, so uh, so we reviewed the plans and Sylvia conducted a site walk on the property. After meeting on the site, the following are possible site improvements to be considered. Uh, number one, reworking the east side parking area to conform with the plans, um, meaning paving the parking area as shown on the plans, creating the lawn and play space as shown on the plans, creating, uh, cleaning up vegetation along the property line, and cleaning up the snow and gravel piles. And then uh, lastly, reworking the west side uh, lot to ensure that the septic field is protected from snow, uh, gravel, and sand piles while still providing adequate parking. So those were Sylvia's comments on this. Yeah. So if you want clarification on any of that, I did walk it with her. Sure. So what she's referring to, um, so this isn't built exactly the way it shows here. It mm -hmm. says kids play area. Yeah. This is actually still wooded in the corner. And the gravel actually comes way up in here. So this is, I mean, it, it would imply to me that this was maybe intended to be grass. 
when it says play area. Yeah. But in fact, it's all gravel right now. So we, um, we talked about that and uh, do actually doing the parking the way it's drawn on the plan here. Mm -hmm. And on the other, so again, there's trees here. I don't know that we necessarily need to cut the trees down. I'd prefer not to if I don't have to, but. No, I, I would agree. Yeah. Um, we probably would put some grass in here. On the other side, when she talked about protecting the septic system, you see these three spaces here? Mm -hmm. It's clear that they plow snow this way, and there's a lot of gravel sitting right here, which is on top of the leach field. So, uh, Did they ever put the curbing in? I, this curbing is here, it yes. It is in, okay. Yeah, this is. Yeah. Um, this is all graveled here. Yeah. And so it's our intention, actually. So it's actually my son, Ben, who you may know. Uh, he and I own this together. Um, we are going to take some of that office space for ourselves anyway. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be there at that site. Um, obviously, we care about how it looks. It's a reflection of your business and all of that. We are going to go in here and, and pave this because I don't want to be scraping gravel <laughs> every year. I'm sure this has been an ongoing thing for them. Yeah, right. Um, and again, just so you understand, we only just bought this a few months back. Yep. Um, you know, what's there, whether it complies or not with what the original plan was, that's other people, mm -hmm. not us. Yeah. Why would you have a kid's play area when you're not going to have the daycare anymore? So, actually, don't, you know, we could have probably removed that note and just put lawn or something, but we just took the plan the way it was drafted originally, and it was the simplest way to, to get a, a plan together with all the information. I went back to the guy that drew it and had him change all the notes. It's a good point. We probably could have removed that and just put lawn. Or yeah, I think if you, I think if the site plan says that's what it should be, it should be, but. Um, but now the preschool is leaving. Yeah, right. And they've always walked across the street to the play area by the gazebo. Sure, well, it makes sense. I've stopped many times to let them cross. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm somewhat uh, bothered by the fact that we didn't previously pick up on, we should have had a, uh, a table on here listing the, listing the uh, office space and the number of, the number of cars, space, uh, parking spaces required by that office, office space. Sure. We should have had that on here. Because I'm looking at this and, and seeing uh, 17 and saying, gee, do we really need 17? But, uh, so Rick did the math and said you got more parking than you need already, okay. and, and particularly now with reducing, with, with making yeah. the changes, it's going to reduce the required parking. Right. So uh, we weren't concerned about not having enough parking. Okay. Um, and again, uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna pave and we're gonna we're gonna pave this area and we're gonna pave this too. Okay. Well, I think uh, I think Harry has a good point. Uh, take this. Take the kids' play area off and just show that you're going to be putting, uh, making that uh, grassed area and identify the area we're going to be proposing to pave and, uh, and then have them correct the a couple of notes here too because he talks about the shrubs, uh, note number 18, which is really note number. At least 18 on this That's one. You look at the old plan. So yeah. I, I, I don't know. If yeah, you, the new plan. did change a bunch of stuff on the new plan. Yeah, there's no number 18, so you have to, but the uh, shrubs are number 16. 16. So have them change note 18 up. Uh, is reference to note 18, make that 16 up here. Okay, so. You can have this one skip if you want. Oh, okay, yeah. So just. I think that's 16 instead of 18. Uh, similarly, uh, the lamp post it says, see note number 11, it's really note number nine. And uh, let's see, and then just have them do a table with uh, What's number 12, Fred, for the table? Uh, total parking area, okay. 
And if you want to change that, you're doing the parking. You're going to be going to have the same parking here anyways, right? So that that note would be well, remain the same. Okay. So we don't have to change the note on the parking. Oh well, no, we don't have. To, do you still want us to put a table? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'd have a table with uh, uh, area uh, for uh, office space and give a square footage on that. Mm -hmm. And then what's required, a uh, parking number of parking spaces required. And, uh, and then uh, two residential apartment units and uh, parking spaces for that. And then have that, num have that compare with uh, what's being provided. Okay. And Uh, it's just in that same realm, um, the signs are referenced as C note 19, oh. uh, but it's just 17. So, what's that now? Oh, so yeah, like the entrance signs and stuff. Uh, oh, okay, but it would just be 17. So, so we need to add a note. To no, you need no, to you put just put change number the 17. 17 oh, oh, to yeah. 19. Oh, okay, so what's the grass? At grassed areas, I don't see that as a on one of the notes because he refers to C note 17. Uh, note 15, Fred. 15, oh, yeah, okay. So that's 15 instead of 17. Wouldn't it be better that the handicap sign be in the front t to point towards the back where you go in for handicap? Well, this is supposed to identify that, that spot itself, right? So that would, that's the handicap spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It indicates it with a wheelchair yeah. person. I don't see much else. I have a few questions, Fred. Yeah, go ahead, Bob. Um, so the first one is uh, just wondering about the septic system. Um, what's the, do we have any kind of confirmation that it's sized properly for an additional two residential units? The loading for the two one bedrooms is less than it was required for the preschool. According to Rick. Yeah, which is probably right. Okay. Yeah, because they go by the number of people, like right. in a restaurant or... Right. And that's where a lot of this came from, just in case you didn't know. We weren't aware of an issue that DES was calling into attention about some uranium in the water. Apparently, the water in that area is terrible. Oh, yeah. And well known. They had actually contacted the previous owner. We didn't know this until after the closing. Contacted them, telling them to re to uh, install a public water supply for the building, and that's cost prohibitive thing to do. Um, or they had the option, the preschool had the option of reducing the number of students in the preschool. Right. So um, we found all this out afterwards, but. Converting the use to two one-bedroom apartments eliminates that whole issue mm -hmm. as an issue. Yep. We are going to do a treatment system anyway because it's the right thing to do. Yep. But we're not creating a public water supply, and there's a big difference. Right. That's, well, that's what D let and DES let. Um, oh God, the Sharon Apartments. Bob Sullivan. Right. They door. let him put in a treatment system for the aluminum. But I mean, it was a very, it's a very expensive procedure to do, a, and he had to do a public water supply there. It's incredibly costly, and it's ongoing reporting, and this is because of all the apartments. Yeah. And in my conversation with Rick Pelletier, just so you know, uh, Rick said that water is all terrible there, and everybody knew it. Everybody knows it. Um, actually, <laughs> by doing what you're proposing, you're going to do the density. Property, which is beneficial. Yep. 
Oh, is uranium the only issue? The only one I know about, but I haven't, I haven't actually read the report to actually okay. call it down into all that whole thing. Is the, uh, I doubt it. That's usually, and you usually have more than one thing in your water, right? It's <laughs> yeah, typically, iron and manganese typically and in this area else. here, it's been, uh, chlorides has been an issue because it seems every salt truck that pulls out and starts salting on Old Center, and uh, right. so you won't have any problem with of uh, ice, but uh, oh, good. <laughs> but that that area is uphill from the salting coming out, so likely where town hall is pretty bad. <laughs> so that's uh, that's a potential issue. The other other issue was uh, nitrates too, but uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, and they all know nobody drinks the water. And you know, I hadn't thought about it. My daughter <laughs> Melissa actually went to preschool there, and I can read. Once Rick mentioned it, I remember thinking back because Joyce used to be mm -hmm. the secretary or whatever, the treasurer, I forget, yep. for the preschool. Right. And she's like, oh, yeah, we, we never drank that one. And then we ne <laughs> she never drank the water when yep. she was there. And they don't now. They all know it's. Don't be drinking it. Right. Oh, okay, let me c continue. I have a couple more questions. So the uh, this little sheet that you gave us shows. Looks like stairwells on both yes, ends of the building. So, uh, does this need to be on the site plan, Fred? Should they show the uh, because there's a ramp here, and I'm not really sure if Is that the exterior stairway. No, it's no. enclosed. It's inside, okay. So it has a roof. It's not. Um, there's no door at the bottom, but it's uh, it's enclosed. There's a roof over it, and there's three walls around it. So I, I just don't know if that structure is something that we expect to see. Is this, is this what he's showing here? Again, that's the so original. It, be, it looks like it would are be you, where the ramp is. Are you referring that the apartments would have to have ability for handicapped access? Oh, yeah. Or, well, are two means of entrance and exit. So the, this shows the it. Public this shows it. But uh, I assume is it, are the apartments on the second floor? Or the second yeah. floor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would... The, uh, the 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 uh, the footprint of the building should should show this this enclosed this uh, footprint here. So just a matter of getting that shown on here. And then uh, my final question is just um, about: um, Are there windows anticipated for those apartment units, and where would they be? So. We try to use all the existing windows as they are, uh, and again, having, you know, not having drawn a final plan, we may end up having to do something to either put skylight to get some additional daylight in there or dormers of some kind. And again, before any of that would happen, it would come back to Rick Pelletier anyway. Yeah. Well, I, I guess the reason I'm asking the question is because I believe that's a historic district, uh, a listed historic district. So if we're modifying the roof of the building, um, it, it may be beyond us, but are there other obligations um, that, that may apply to that structure? I don't, I don't think this, was, this is listed as, uh, in the historic register. No, it wouldn't Town have Hall. been able to be fixed if it had been. Yeah. It's not listed as a historic building, but the... But the area is, isn't it? No, we, have, no, we don't have an historic district as such, and there's no... People refer to it as an historic district, but it's not as far as the zoning regulations are concerned. It's not the National Register as a historic. I believe it is. Really? I just pull it out. I asked Rick that question and he said well, it didn't let me, apply, but. Yeah, it may not, but here, here's what I found. I mean, it's Wikipedia, so I'm, it, it's, it's beyond my area of expertise, but it does seem to indicate it's on the U.S. National Register of Historic Places, Deerfield Center Historic District. So I just don't want to over, overlook something if, um, yeah, but if there is a... Um, if we actually had a historic district as such, then we would have, have regulations in the zoning ordinance which would control what occurs within the historic district, in which we don't. Uh, we, had, we had proposed uh, something to that effect but uh, we got some f pushback and decided not to proceed with it. Mm -hmm. So this, but is there some some other st structure at, at a level beyond us that applies in this case? 
and uh, not that I know of. And there's, and there's really nothing, I, nothing we could tell Skip to say. Oh, you gotta, you gotta build it to these standards because we don't have any standards. Right. Right. Okay. I understand we may not be able to, yeah. but I was just wanting to make sure that there wasn't another layer that you should be aware of that we, um, you know, is beyond our jurisdiction. Not that I know of. Okay, well. It would be, you would, it would you be mapped know. if we had a yeah. historic, if we'd ever voted a historic district, it would be mapped. Right. Well, so the, what am I looking at right here? It's Wikipedia, so. It uh, doesn't necessarily mean it has to be totally factual. It may it may simply uh, well, be because the town's area is very historical. I mean, you go back, the Sharon Apartments, the town hall, what, 1840? They moved the town hall there from Meeting House Hill? Well, I do know also from the my involvement with the Northern Pass proceedings that this area was the subject of a lot of discussion because mm -hmm. of the power lines being visible from it right. and the fact that it had some designation. But the, the, even if there was official designation, uh, we can't, I can't tell him where he can go to find out what the regulations are because we don't know. I'll let you know something. No, I, no I, I don't have the information, but I guess I'm just wanting to make sure mm -hmm. that uh, we're not doing, approving something that uh, contradicts some other uh, program out there that seems like it might be applicable in this area. Typically with, with towns that do have historic districts, they have specific regulations for the individual district itself, which controls the the type and uh, in color, in color. It, you know, it can go that deep yeah. and uh, but or, or, or in the church the case of a church I would think that altering it's significantly altering I assume this was a whole I thought it was I always thought it was a former church I'm told it was the odd fellows hall oh. not a church mm. Mm. Were you in on that yeah I think I recall that yeah it was never I, a church yeah. Yeah. So not that that's I, not historic either, but yeah. Yeah. So I think and, and and to answer your question as best as I can, and I'm not an expert, but what I was told was you can be in a historic register and still not be required to comply with any specific exterior right. components. Mm -hmm. um, and my, I think what Fred's saying is, if we don't have any, I mean, how do you yeah. tell somebody what they are? Uh, but that's my understanding. Well, there's a very famous court case in Exeter where the historic district tried to force the woman to put wood clapboards on her house. And the court ruled no. The aluminum clapboards looked like clapboards. That was all it needed to look like it was historical. So, and they do have a historic district. <laughs> But um, I do think the, ch the community church and the town hall have both been registered as historical buildings. Yeah, I think you're right. But so they, you're right. So that would refer to those to those specific buildings themselves. And maybe the library too, because that could be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I do know those two because <coughs> when. Um, they were going to do the alterations inside to make the offices in the town hall downstairs. They had to go through historic. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, what else? You got, what else you got, Bob? That that was it for my questions. Okay. We're just going. Yes, we're just going over having the notes that need to be changed on the plans. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Okay. So we'll, changing those notes, I've scratched out what the old one, what the yeah. old ones uh, are showing, and what the actual note listing mm -hmm. calls for. 
I'm going to be taking out the kids' play area and putting in your grass. I'm going to change this. He's got hard pack. You're going to put it. You're going to be paving that. Right. And uh, just give. Uh, what are you going to put? Two and a half, three inches of hot top down. Mm -hmm. So have him just put put that whatever the thickness of hot top you're going to put down there. Okay. Uh, and you're going to change the outside of the building to to reflect what's actually there, what's actually there in the footprint. Uh, a table for total office space and parking space is required, and the two one bedroom apartments. And the office and the parking space required for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else? We got anything else? Oh, uh, oh, that's right here. Okay. Yeah, you folks uh, here for the hearing on that? Yes. Okay, would you like to have a comment? I I also had a hearing from Sorry. building too much. So I just want to make sure that you are going to be managing the apartments next door and you'll be doing background checks on those people? Absolutely. Okay. We, we already own and, and we don't necessarily manage all of our own units because we own in a couple different places. But uh, a building like that that we are occupying, yes, we would manage that right there. Okay. Okay. Because we have had some issues um, with the apartment building on the other side of us. No, it's on the on the other side, on the Baptist Church side. Oh, okay, okay. So what are what's the plans for happening in between our buildings? Because um, I thought I saw a candy cane. In terms you can come up and take a look at the plan if you like. Yeah. Yeah. Skip Kelly. <laughs> Your property is over here. And uh, the Baptist Church is here. And then here's the his septic tank and leak field are, are in this area here between the building and the... Okay. I could have sworn there's like a candy cane right so here. This is where the pile of gravel is or the piles of mm -hmm. debris? Is that what you're... Oh, the well. That's what that is. That, yes, yeah, the well mm -hmm. is there. And actually, it's, I think it's in, just inside the tree line because there's a lot of yeah. trees still here. They're actually all ash trees and they're all dying. Uh, if you come yeah. in the summer, they don't even make leaves anymore and they're oh, well. hazards. Um, so I know you don't want to cut trees down, but probably better. Well, we're not going to leave dead ones. <laughs> yeah, they're, <laughs> they're a hazard to the building, and yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we got about half ours cut down so far, so um, mm -hmm. they're pretty gross when you cut into them. Um, so this you'll turn into grass. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, that's interesting. So you're going to end up cutting it in and having. We're actually going to pave the parking that's here and get rid of all that gravel. Interesting, yeah, because people come in and they do die. Yeah. Right they, oh, they park all the way down here. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. Okay, yeah. The, the windows is actually what I, when I heard about apartments, because it was just one window of the entire right. second floor. Right. So if you're, like, doing it in half, this would be <laughs> completely dark. I was yeah, we, we'll have to come up with a solution for that, but... Dormers, um, and, or and or skylights um, as required to meet codes and so forth. Okay. Okay, great. Well, those are just the questions I had. I think the 
you know, the quality of tenant is really important for us since we've had a bad experience with the quality of tenant on the other side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they don't do background checks, so. Oh, they don't? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I called as uh, a perspective. Mm -hmm. um, We're pretty dweller for my mother. <laughs> in our buildings. We spend a lot of money to make them nice. We don't want people disrespecting the property. Right, sure, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Well, I appreciate you letting us yeah. take a look. That's why they have a hearing. And it was nice meeting you. All right, thank you. Uh, it brings up a question about the yep. uh, on the well. Mm -hmm. Is that is that buried or is it sticking up? No, it's up? closed. You can see it. Okay. I, yeah, I guess the concern is that whether somebody's going to smack it or something. It, so there's trees around it right oh, now. Oh, there is. Okay. Yeah, it's so, not out in the open. Okay. We had to kind of look for it a little bit. Okay. Well, that's probably good. Yeah. All right. Uh, do we want to do? Uh, Conditional approval. That would be nice. And uh, with meeting all these conditions we've talked about tonight, and and if we do that, uh, how many, uh, how much time do you need? In Sixty days, ninety days? To get the plan redone? Yeah. I'd like to think two weeks. I mean, he's got can, all the stuff. I can give. We can give you oh, sixty days. Plan for to. the apartments? No, no. Just for the for this plan. just for just the, for the plan, notes so. to all be fixed on there and yeah. and the redrawing of. I mean, he's got this in his computer. It shouldn't take him but a few hours to turn okay. it on and change the notes and print it out. But you so can you can take the ninety can, days. Can, give you, give me the 90 you, days. You don't have to use it. Gonna, it. Yeah. Okay. Let's do you're that. Not, you're not you're not held Better in ninety have days. Better not need it. Right. Exactly. Yep. National Register of Historic Places one through fourteen is all registered. Oh. Dot government site, so. Okay. So I'm about Ana. It is on the internet, not on Wikipedia. <laughs> so that would be whatever the requirements are for buildings on the historic register. And again, I asked Rick about this, and he said just because it's on the register doesn't mean you necessarily have to do anything, but it is. And, and again, we had the conversation. Yeah. So I'll check back with him okay. again just to be sure. But, but we have no right. zoning regulations which dictate what you can and can't do right so okay so you want a motion have a, have one I'll make a motion that we give conditional approval uh, based on everything that we've asked to be changed on the plans and with 60 days or 90 days no, make it 90 days, 90 days to, to the conditions to be met okay. and obviously if you get them done before that you don't have to wait 90 days I'll be back pretty yeah. soon All right. You get a second on that? Uh, second the motion. Okay. Moved and seconded uh, for conditional approval. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed no? Aye. Nice have it. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. One copy. Yeah, one as long as I get one back. It's okay. You can have mine. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can have cams too. I have another. I'm thinking, do we have to keep all these things? No, no, no. you need a usually file. I give, usually, you give them back to me. Okay. Unless you want to keep them. All right. I can't imagine notice. why. Okay, that. Oh, here's, here's another, another plan. Right here. Okay, I got two plans. Okay, so you're all set. And I got this. Okay. Okay, next one. And the next one is this. Do you want to pass yours down? Yes. I, I've been hanging Let's on to mine. See, uh, I, I mean, if you want to, I have no problem. I'm just thinking, where do I put them? Right in my back. Okay. That pile. As long as we know there's reference. All right, 745 having arrived. That's another one. Here you go, bud. Yeah. So, so. We have a uh, proposed lot line adjustment. In accordance with state statutes, you hereby notify that the Deerfield Planning Board hold a public hearing on Wednesday, April 10th at 7.45 p.m. at the Judge B. White Building to consider an application for a lot line adjustment for Ronnie and Deborah LeBoy, 3 Brown Road, Deerfield, map uh, 424, lot 38, consisting of 3.05 acres, and Robert Heon, uh, one Brown Road, uh, 
map uh, 424 lot 39 consisting of 3.27 acres and owned by the applicants. The intent of the application is to adjust the lot line between map 424 lot 38 and map 424 lot 39. Lot 38 will receive 0 0.19 uh, acres from lot 39. Lot 38 would then consist of 3.24 plus or minus acres. Lot 39 would consist of 3.09 plus or minus acres. You're invited to attend this public hearing and offer your comments. If you're unable to be present, the board will accept your comments in writing prior to the hearing and read them aloud at the hearing. We'll put this with uh, the other previous one. All right, uh, we received uh, the plan. And it's of sufficient detail for the board to uh, take action on. And uh, fees have been paid. Yes. I have a motion to accept the application. I, m I move that we accept the application. Second. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor of accepting the application signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Uh, vote unanimous. Okay, Mr. Franklin. It happened so, last time, too. Yeah. It is, yeah, it just happens. Uh, <laughs> Mix it. Yeah, we don't do much work in that again, I don't know why. <laughs> but, um, anyway, so the lot line adjustment is basically just to encompass uh, uh, an area of encroachment, um, which is indicated here. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Ron has got, he built the driveway to access <coughs> the property in the back and then encroached onto Bob's property. Um, two of them built the way together, they weren't really sure where all that was. Bob's intention is eventually to sell this, and before he does that, we want to move forward and just make sure he's still able to access the real property and uh, be able to maintain it. So it's pretty much all we're here for. It's a good idea to take care of that. Yeah, he that before the new owner comes in. That's right. <laughs> you never know who's going to get it. In. Exactly. So uh, that's pretty much it. You guys have any questions? Then? It's straightforward to me. Yeah, I've. No comments on no this. No comments, system. okay. Yeah, it's pretty pretty, pretty simple. Right? Yeah. Um, so, I guess uh, what we'd, one of the, con uh, could probably have conditional approval. You haven't set the point yet, no, have we you? Haven't set that. Okay. So, that could be, uh, that could be one of the conditions on providing us with a certification that points have been set. Yeah, we usually just, we, uh, we submit the final line, we put a date Set okay. Uh, yeah, the, the both both lots would uh, still be still be conforming, so there's not an issue there, and uh, just to correct the situation, so uh, that we currently have. So it's not complicated. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Would have any questions? Not I. I'm just looking at the setbacks, um, but that's not, is that the property line there, yeah? Uh, this. Yeah, the bolt line is the property line. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So the setbacks are good? Mm -hmm. uh, there, there is a, a small area of encroachment on, on each of this garage, and ironically, they're both, ex um, this is 3.2 feet, and that's 3 feet. Um, I think, um, I, I don't know. But that, I don't know when they were built. Yeah, that, that encroachment on the garage is not not impacted by changing the the nope. uh, the lot line. Nope. nope. So. No, I don't have any other. All right. Have a have a motion for uh, additional approval, subject to having the. Uh, Pin set identifying the proposed lot line and having a certification by Mr. Franklin saying that the the uh, the pins have been set. You have a motion. You have a motion, or do you, let me move that. I would like to move that we uh, um, uh, approve this subject to those conditions. Second. Move and seconded. Uh, 
So once those are set, then we can sign off on the plan. Okay, do you want a time limit on this? Or? No, you just take it and, yeah. Okay. I'm sure we're going to get it done faster. With 90 days for uh, meeting the requirement. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. Those no? Uh, vote unanimous. Hey. Thank you very much. It was too easy for you guys. I was going to say, compared to the last time I was in front of you. Yeah, United. right. See? <laughs> now, you, wanted, you wanted fireworks and stuff. Please. Yeah. All right. Yes. You want to hand that down for me? Thank you. Uh, so, well, Sylvia had uh, made a suggestion that we take up uh, putting a, uh, a review fee for conditional use permits. Well, Sylvia uh, asked for that. And yeah, I'm I think we should probably hold off until uh, Pete's here. Pete's and, here, yeah. yeah. We have nothing pending as far yeah, as, I think right. the only time we've used it is for Eversource. Eversource, yeah. And they just came in for, I don't expect them back. No, not for a while. Yeah, here's another one. Here's another one. Okay. Do you have the notice? I think you sure I get one. Uh, anybody else have anything? I have a, a quick one. I um, asked Jane for the um, rules of procedure, mm -hmm. and she didn't have them, but um, I called the town clerk because they always keep them, so she just brought them to me. Oh, good. Oh, okay. All right. No, if nobody has anything else. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> I make a motion to adjourn this meeting. Good job, Bob. Is there a second? Second. <laughs> Moving seconded to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned. This is what I was talking about. Okay. Well, that was good. It's in the law. Right. So. You know, I don't know what what the story is with regard to the uh, these historic places I think so I think it's <coughs> so if there's no historic district in town which would be the authority on the matter yeah. then the, then we can't say what can be done I think if you're recognized on a national registry and you do something to your building you basically come off of that being recognized on that registry okay I would have to double check on that but I because I, I who would be the authority to well say question, whether you we could or couldn't do it if there's not a local authority to do so you know well the state has a an office that'd be easy enough to contact them and ask the question yeah I, I agree yeah can uh, you uh, can you check on that I can absolutely check okay Oops. all right Cam, you're having it too easy, getting out of here before 8 o'clock. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> that was quick getting a name. I don't know. Fred told me.